I noticed in the paper that there was a little squib about an interest meeting to start and organize a habitat in Knoxville. We didn't have any organizational skills. We did not have a base of support. We didn't have any money. And we didn't have any crew that knew anything about building. It never occurred to me that we were going to last very long. I kept thinking, if the Lord is in this, he's going to have to do something mighty. And he did. About 20 years ago, the first house I worked on was the Chesney House on Douglas Avenue. And I, I believe that that was uh, house number six out of what, 400. My dad had been involved with Habitat. He was a builder and he had already been uh, to one of the days of the, the Blitz in 2000. And he said, you know, Ginger, you really should go out there and I think you'd like it and uh, it's a lot of fun. You're gonna meet a lot of great people. That day really, uh, I caught the Habitat fire. Where there is beauty from the ashes and healing from our pain. Where there is strength beyond our weakness. There's a supernatural thing. I've been a Habitat homeowner for 12 years. When I found out I was going to be a Habitat homeowner, it was like a dream come true. Instead of someone else's home, it would be our home. And it's still our home, and it always will be. Our foundation is about the basic needs of people. And this organization serves the most simplest, but yet the most important need that people have, and that's shelter. This organization has been successful because of the people and their passion that have come to me with ideas and thoughts and the leadership. Our thrift store, we had a volunteer in there one day and he was just, he says, I'll go pick it up. We're like, well, we're not sure what it is. That's okay, don't worry about it. And so he goes off in his little pickup truck and picks it up, comes back in. He goes, well, I sold it on the way back to bring it in here and here's the money. Now it's a very, um, it's a very profitable way for us to bring in money. I clothed myself practically while I was over there with regularity, and the earrings I have on came from Habitat. Habitat with country music was so just the perfect duo. I thought, wouldn't it be cool to have our own music row here, which is the community of neighbors working together to do something really extraordinary. I am completely over the moon about dedicating this first house. Habitat is not a handout, it's a hand up. We are building homes for families who otherwise would never have this opportunity. They can't get financing through any other kind of uh, financial institution. Um, and we're training and teaching how to be successful. It's just wonderful to see how the circle continues. And don't I've never been involved in a program that has emphasized self-sufficiency more than Habitat. Habitat is revitalizing neighborhoods and communities. They're no longer just coming in and putting a house into an, an area and just saying, okay, we've completed our job. Uh, they're really looking for those opportunities to strengthen that community in which they're building in. People can absolutely change the situation. When I got involved with Habitat, I could see that it was really making a difference. It makes me feel happy to, to give to um, people who don't have houses. You're making a permanent difference in someone's life. We have an obligation. You know, we, we operate in, in East Tennessee, and we make money here, and, and we, we thrive here. So we have an obligation, we believe, to be a part of helping people in East Tennessee. I don't want there to be, you know, a West Knoxville and East Knoxville. Um, I want us all to realize that we're one neighbor, and um, we've got 25 more years to do it. Oh,